for your salmon. Make sure you get a salmon who's got like lovely bubbly shiny eyes like that one. Make sure it's very fresh in the gills and you got a beautiful scale fish. Cut just under the, the head and turn your knife towards the center bowl. Cutting through right the, the backbone of the salmon. Just follow flat with your knife and you will start to feel really the backbone here lifting up the tail of the salmon. When you are up the head, cut straight down the rib cage and open your salmon and just keep your knife flat and follow down towards the belly skin. You end up having a nice salmon fillet. We will need to trim it in a second. So we will remove all the fatty parts we're not going to use. That's the way your salmon is going to be. The last thing we need to take is all those big pig bones. We'll do in a minute. I'm going to make the other side of the salmon fillet. Keeping your, flat, your knife flat down towards the flesh of the salmon. You're going towards the tail. Cutting up the tail and lifting up the tail very easily. Holding the bones in your hand, cut right through the belly and carry on again towards the head. When your bones is up, cut right down, removing all the bones from the salmon in one go, having a lovely fillet. Discard of the bones and going through the excess bones on the left side towards the lifting up again making sure you're right where the flesh is and cut straight through now to remove the skin of the salmon fillet cut a little incision towards the tail without cutting the skins you can see the skin is there straight through there and keep it as a holder Put your knife towards the skin and make some very slight move holding and making sure you're picking up all the flesh of your salmon. Making that little move will help you holding the salmon. And you can see the salmon is sticking up the board and helping you at the same time. Now you can lift it up completely and you can see that the skin doesn't contain any, any flesh. You do need a really nice sharp knife for that or you ask your fishmonger to do it for you. Cutting the excess off. Now to cut portion of salmon fillet, you just need to portion the size you wish to serve your guest at home. And for salmon tartar, what we're going to do now is to remove the excess of blood and fatty bits on the back of the salmon. Cutting a little diagonal incision on the right and do exa exactly the same size on the left. Lifting up all the excess in nearly one move. You got two systems where you can remove the pins, bones in the center using a small knife and pitch it up with your fingers and lift it up slightly towards the head. A more easy way to do when you do salmon tartar, is to cut just on the side of the bones, making sure you're not blocking them, folding straight down, see one did not want to come with me, and cutting exactly on the other side, you do lose a little bit of salmon, but it is a bit easier to do, so it's a, a choice to be made. All that part contains all your pin bones. When your salmon is done, the good thing with uh, when you're doing salmon as well is to really make sure you rinse your hands a lot. Salmon is a very greasy fish, and if you use a lot of water when you cut it, it won't stick to your fingers, which makes life so much easier. To cut for your salmon tartar, you could cut it. I'm going to show you how to cut steaks in the first place. You could cut your steaks like that and have nice little supreme skinless ready for poaching or roasting. 